Hi guys, welcome to Kingdom Review, Chapter 503. So let's get into the important stuff. Uh, Canon is receiving messages via uh, burn messengers, and then the king is informed that Riboku needs the his uh, the Canon army to move out to uh, Retsubi, but the king's like, no, this is my personal army for my protection, and that's all it will ever be used for. And the messenger telling the king, is, he is very stressed out because it is clear from the messages that they are in very di a dire situation where the ki kingdom could fall apart. But the king honestly does not care about the kingdom. He cares about his little paradise like he jokes about, I don't even actually think it's a joke, he says that as long as the baths are protected, Everything could turn into ash. He just cares about his pampering and his uh, desires, which includes young boys. The guy's quite creepy. So basically, he comes up with the idea that the surrounding city's armies should be plenty. And Riboku had actually thought of this, and he put it in the messages that uh, that will work. I think there might have been a little hidden message to the mess person telling the king don't bring this up unless the king does because uh, they need the crack troops to be sure but they're not going to get them. Back to Riboku, Riboku's like okay we ho need to get there before Chin does to Retsubi and they are hoping the medium cities can slow them down enough, but if they're not, they're going to be in real trouble. Okay, so back to the Osin army. They're approaching their targets via traveling alongside the Yellow River to avoid as many cities that they do not want to fight. So they are avoiding those obstacles that Ribuku was talking about. Um, but an army comes out to attack the Osin army, but he's like, don't worry about it. Kanki will take care of, it, care of it, and I'm sure he will. He is brutal. Overall, this chapter didn't really have all that much content. I mean, we already knew Rubuku knew. We knew he would probably make a counter move, which he did. Um, overall, this chapter was about the king, and it showed us just how messed up the royalty there is, because, you know, not just the king was uh, doing enjoying those, uh, well, young boys, the, his retainer, I'm not sure what, what was his name, uh, Kakukai, something like that, he was saying this is like a sacred ceremony that the king enjoys after a hard day's work as king, which, honestly, I can't think of anything that king would do other than enjoy himself. He's in his complete own little world. One thing we do know is that Osin is not going to be facing crack troops because they're staying in Canton. We're getting the more normal troops from uh, the cities, maybe some emergency conscript, conscript, conscript soldiers to uh, fight the Osin army. So it's not like they're going to be facing professional fighters. So I rate this chapter around 7.5 out of 10 because for two reasons. It's kind of high and kind of low on my score because the king creeped me out and anything that can bring out emotions like that I rate higher on the scale but overall the information we got we already knew was going to happen the only thing new was is uh, that like I said the crack troops aren't going to be fighting the Osin army and I'm not hyped for the Kenki fight because, well, I'll be honest, after the last arc with Shin and the conflict there with Kenki, I, uh, I'm not a fan of him anymore. Well, thank you for watching this review of Kingdom 503. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Despite your best efforts, the pig demon has found you. And it now wants to devour your soul and throw what's left into darkness. The only way to save yourself and escape is to subscribe. What will you do?